Hello, viewers, and thank you for coming to my channel and watching my videos. If you like this type of video, please subscribe. The more subscribers I can obtain, the more I can um, monetize this channel. And I appreciate the people who have viewed the videos and have left comments and are really cool about things. Uh, this is getting near the end of GTA San Andreas. And hopefully by now I have my Xbox Series X. I don't know if I do yet, but I've been doing these videos way ahead of time and finishing things out. So I may end up playing some other video games until I get the uh, Series X. I mean, you'll find out. I'll announce it in the video that I'm recording and doing stuff on my Series X. But that is the future. And now is now when I'm putting this video together. And now that CJ has broken the bank at Caliglia's, and then threatened by Salvatore, um, he's now settling into being a uh, casino owner, and the character Mad Dog shows up, clean and sober, after the Mad Dog uh, incident in Mission in a while back, so... It may seem like a long time, but in game time, it's maybe a month or so. Who knows? But now Mad Dog wants to get his life back on track and wants CJ to manage him. And this mission is, again, a little more out there, but CJ has to retake Mad Dog's house from a drug dealer Mad Dog owed money to because he used a lot of cocaine. And it's actually a pretty um, solid mission. Again, the M4 helps out a lot. And this is called A Home in the Hills. And let's get to the mission. Don't hate the little man because he's packing the six shooter. Oh, next. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you know how much balls it takes to stand down here and sing a song like that? It takes guts. I'm, I'm sorry. We're just looking for something with a little more uh, mass appeal. What could have more mass appeal than a song like Small but Perfectly Formed? Women want me. Men want to be like me. Assholes. Oh. <laughs> Gotta be right. kidding me, right? Damn. This casino game is hard work. I thought it was just a case of opening the doors and letting suckers give you their money. If only. You know what? I'm getting bored here. I'm trying to do business, not audition midgets. People of reduced stature, you mean? Yeah, yeah, I said that. All I know is when are we gonna get some real talent in here? I heard that. Mad dog. CJ, clean, dude. That's good news, man. Hey, what's cracking? You ready to take it to the stage again? Easy, CJ. Come on, man. One step at a time, you know? I'm almost ready, but... But but what? I want to go home now, CJ. That's cool, man. I'll take you. Where's home? My mansion, baby. Yeah, I heard about that place. Drugs, sex, all that shit. <laughs> yeah, you know it. Yeah, but... yeah, I've been there. I, I mean, I've seen it on TV. Yeah. Nice crib. Thanks, player. We could do with a place like that to set up in the LS again. Wait for sweet. Mmm. Get things moving. Get out this midget game. But CJ, come on, man. What? I saved your life, man. My mansion ain't big enough. Only got 19 bedrooms, you heard? All right, man. My mansion's been seized. IRS? Nah, not exactly. Who? Nobody. Who, mad dog? All right. 
Big Papa. Big Papa? The drug dealer? Man, you gave your multi-million dollar mansion to a motherfucking pusher? You know, CJ, these things happen. I was powerless. You fucking degenerate? Oh, man. How much blow can one guy snort? It's not my fault, CJ. Man, I should have let you jump. Come with me, all of you. We all going home. Hello? Hey, what's up, Carl? Hey, Kendall, what's up? Nothing, just thought I'd wish you luck. We're gonna drive back to, uh, San Fierro first. Wanna check things out there before we hook up with you guys in Los Santos. All right, cool. You be careful. I'll be fine. I got Caesar and Mad Dog to keep me safe. You be careful. Oh, I will. I'll see you in Los Santos. Me and you gonna go in to clear the place out. Good idea. The element of surprise so the rest of the crew can move in in peace. As you can tell by what's going on here, CJ and his men will parachute in and land on the helipad and basically fight their way in to the area where the drug dealer is and, well, basically it's going to be a gunfight and CJ should use the M4. You ever jumped before? Nah, you? Nah. When we land, we're gonna feel invincible. I am invincible! Hey, wait up! Wah! Wahoo! Wahoo! As you can tell, the gunfight is going on right now, and CJ is the last guy to land, which then you flip to the M4 and start taking down the bad guys, and they go down real quick. Grab as many M4s as you can and start shooting these guys. They keep coming over the wall. And from behind, and again, you can take them down. Their weapons are a little less aggressive. And CJ's going to have to take a little cover here. And hey, there's some body armor. Um, yeah, I don't think we'll need some heavy weapons. Just take these guys down. And the triads have nearly arrived. Okay, well... Yeah, these guys are kind of swarming all over the place. Once you finish them off, now the triads are here and you can take them inside of the mansion, but grab that body armor right before you go in and you'll be able to take the mansion somehow. And yeah, I'm going to run around the building a little bit to scout it out. I don't see the entrance here. 
Oh, wait, it's below me. I should just jump over the railing, but nah. I'm going to run around. I'm going to fast forward to where CJ actually enters. Who's waiting for? We're heavily outnumbered, but if we all keep our heads, we should kick ass. Hey, ah! Let's hit him. Humor there. Now, you're going to go down the hallway, and there's going to be guys uh, popping out of doors, running into, window, or running into um, rooms, and, you know, you're going to wind up, they're just popping out of everywhere. And, yeah, you're going to shoot a few little uh, innocent people who are trying to run, but, hey, you don't run into a gunfight. You kind of just... Take cover and wait until everyone uh, kind of finishes everything up. But that's just some advice there. And now you've got this guy trying to clear a room and can't seem to do it. And you just got to go room by room down this hall, little by little. And they're taking down your dudes real quick. So you just gather their M4s. And this guy, these guys suck. I mean, wow, CJ just, just taking them down with a headshot. And, yeah, they're standing right there out in the open. And now you got to work your way through and help these guys out. And you go, again, you got to go room by room. And that dude is dead. And there is some body armor around that you can gather. You want to take these guys out? This room's clean. And that room is clean. This guy is gone. And take out this guy and take out that guy. No one left in here. And there's no one left up. There's guys down here shooting. And you just take them out. Again, you can take the hits. But now you gotta go downstairs. And you gotta find out where the guys are shooting from. There's that guy. And you gotta go clear room by room by room. Yeah. Don't blame me, blame yourself. A little health refresh in the kitchen, and you come out here. I believe the one thing CJ stepped on was um, night vision glasses, and there's no one in here. There's some uh, video games. Hey, this place has some video games. I'm going to have to explore this mansion in a future video, which I'm going to do. Now, the bad guy is further on into the house, and CJ needs to be a little more sneaky, and these guys, they're going to come popping out on you, and you got to be ready to take them down. Ooh, I'm running low on M4 ammo. There's nothing in here, and nothing in here except a woman running away. Then there's the other rooms in this house that are down this hall, and a bad guy running away, and he's popping up and take him down. Around here is some body armor, but not in this room, obviously. I think it's the next room over. It's across from the recording studio. And yeah, it's in this room. Who are you to break into this place, eh? And you keep going after the bad guys. There's nothing in the recording studio. And you just shoot up some party goers here. And there's a bad guy behind the bar. And again, there's like some night vision goggles. And you gotta kind of... Yeah, I can leave the party goers alone. 
And then there's this area where you have bad guys and they're trying to prevent you from getting at the main drug dealer. And there's this guy by the pool and this guy. And the main drug dealer is leaving the mansion. And what happens is now that you are going to leave the mansion, the main drug dealer, you're going to have to chase after him. And he goes peeling out in this um, car. And it's another chase scene similar to Pulaski and High Noon. But in this case, you can't shoot out the guy's wheels. So you just got to stay close and you got to keep shooting at his car and strafing his car until he finally crashes and dies. And uh, yeah, it takes a little bit, so I'm going to do some fast forwarding. Look where you going? As you can tell, the guy was driving everywhere like a maniac. And finally, I mean, CJ has to drive up alongside him. He, the car explodes, he dies, and you've taken back Mad Dog's mansion. This chase stuff is a little frustrating because um, you wind up with, you know, wasting a lot of time. and It, it just kind of, it, it's... The, the aiming, at least they fixed the aiming in GTA 4 and GTA 5. But that's one of the things was driving and aiming and shooting in GTA San Andreas was a little limited. Now after CJ gets out of the car, he gets a phone call. Now I'm trying to drive CJ to where he can buy a house, which is another safe house. And it's way out in the county here, but it's close to Las Venturas, so CJ can vacation and whatever. And it's close by. Very so once he gets the house and gets out of the car, I'm going to let you um, hear the phone conversation that he has. And it's out? somewhere Maybe around here in a side street. I'm going to take a check. Possibly on the map if I have to. And it might be the next town over, which I'm guessing. And so, again, yeah. I think I'm a little lost here. And there you go. Yep, it's the other town. I'm going to fast forward here to that safe house. And you see it on the map right over here. And again, I'm going to fast forward to get there and let you hear the conversation. Hey, Ken, how you doing? Who is this? It's Carl. Carl Johnson. Hey, Carl, great! Guys, it's Carl. Got great. I'm fucking great. Fucking amazing. I got a need for an accountant and a sound engineer. And I thought of you and Paul. Fucking amazing! Paul's great with figures and I'd make a fucking amazing producer. This is... This is fucking great! It's amazing! Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, man. But look, see you soon. Fucking amazing! And that's that mission. I had to graft this on at the end because I had stopped recording after I had entered the safe house and saved, which is absent-minded of me because I should 
at least do something and record stuff near the end of the mission or after the end of the mission because, yeah, I'm doing this to make a YouTube video out of. So that is the a Home in the Hills movie or mission, sorry, mission. And now CJ will be operating out of Los Santos and out of Mad Dog's Mansion for a little bit. As I said, I'm going to do a tour of the mansion in the next video. Um, people, please subscribe and thank you for subscribing. If you like this video, like it. If you like this type of video, please subscribe. And I hopefully have reached 100 by now. Again, I record these videos and put them together well before I know what's happening on my channel. I could have 1,000, 10,000 subscribers by now. It's just when I record these and put them together, it's well enough in advance that I have a whole list of videos I have scheduled. And I'm actually hoping to shift and post more videos along the way almost at least every other day. But that is in the future plans. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Uh, please pay attention to the end advertising for my website. As always, thanks for stopping by. You smell like you're from England. I'm trying to get laid out. Damn!